My name is Kim, and I vape because it totally works. I'm Robert, and I vape because it works. I'm Adam, and I vape because it works. My name is Emily, and I vape because it keeps me calm. This show has everything. It even has headlocks. I love this. This is the closest I've been to a woman in years. Tech, 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 more tech. This just stuff gets better and better. Check this out. I'm here with Rod. Rod, who are you with? I'm with Pacific Packaging Components. We're from Baldwin Park, California. I've noticed with your booth here, uh, your booth is a lot of stuff that's packaging for vaping stuff, right? That's correct. We are a packaging company, and we consider ourselves the premier packaging company to the e-cigarette liquid industry. One of the things that we've tried to do over the last two years is create items that are more unique and user-friendly for the e-cigarette uh, industry. And in particular, we have a new item that we're very excited about called the Flavor Saver. That sounds dirty. I like it. Tell me more. All right, well, the Flavor Saver is a carrying device that allows you to carry three flavors in your pocket all the time. And basically what it is is it's three 8 mil bottles that have child-resistant caps to keep the little ones safe and to keep the feds happy. You basically push one of the bottles up out of the unit, push it down and turn to get the child-resistant cap off, you drip it into your dripper, or you can fill a clarimizer up to three times with one of the bottles. Put the cap back on, push it down, and put it right back in your pocket. Now, pull that out again. I want to. There was something I wanted to ask you. Do these things come all the way out, or they? They do. Here's the great part about them. If you get tired of that flavor, you just take it out and change it. No way. It just rips all the way out. That's awesome. Rips all the way out. That's correct. Okay. Um, can people get the, are you are you mainly doing wholesale or can they go to your website and buy them Detail for Detail on our website at www.ppcflavorsaver.com and hopefully at your local uh, brick and mortar near you. Awesome, okay. Now the lightning round. You ready? Yes. Okay. What's up with all these dudes here at this convention? They all have beards that look like Grizzly Adams. You know, it, it is a beardy crowd. I will not argue with you about that, but I guess you didn't get the memo, beards are back. No, no, I don't mind the beards and the Grizzly Adams, but they look like Easy e They look like a gangster with a beard. Well, what goes better with vaping than a big old beard? Okay. Flavor savers, would you say? Three flavors in your pocket all the time. Or your beard. We're interviewing people all around the Vapor Dynasty Expo. Let's go talk. Let's go talk to some more people, shall we? Come on, follow me. Here we got the guys from Classy Cloud Vapes. Introduce yourself, guys. Adam. I'm Rob. Why did you get into the electronic cigarette business? I'll start with you. Uh, well, the business or the community? The the business because, well, the community. Uh, this kid, like a uh, Sith. There's always a master and an apprentice, so find yourself a friend that already vapes and they'll fill you in because there's lots of questions. You think they're stupid, they're relevant. As for the business, well, we saw a whole bunch of bland, monotone flavors. You know, here's a cherry, here's a strawberry, and you get bored with them. You want to empty your tank and then put something else in. And so we found that the market needed diverse, complex flavors that I don't know, you actually didn't mind finishing your tank and filling back up again, so. Um, well, you guys, let me ask you this. When's the last time you had a cigarette? I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a while? It's been a while. Months? Months? Yeah, and even then I was probably drunk. Like, yeah. <laughs> Honesty is the best policy. I'm with Randy, the vapor pimp. Howdy. He said he wanted to blow clouds in my face. I hope he doesn't have any friends named Clouds. Just you, baby. You got any vape jokes for people at home? Um, no. <laughs> what do you call a vapor convention with no air conditioning? Vapor Dynasty? <laughs> he knows all the answers to these. How long have you been vaping? About a year and a half. When Were you a smoker? Yes, I was. 30, How? 39 years. And you just stopped when you started vaping altogether? Stopped completely. Why vaping? Why weren't you into the patch or the lozenges or uh, acupuncture or leeches or marriage? <laughs> well. Oh, wait, I you're tried, married, right? I've tried the marriage thing three times. That didn't work. 
Um, is that more expensive or less expensive than smoking cigarettes? Marriage? Yes, it is. <laughs> See, I, I told you he got vape jokes. What do you think it is about electronic cigarettes that all these people have sort of, like a moth to a flame, there's this giant community of people. What is it about electronic cigarettes that gets them into it? Oh, it's, it's a healthy, healthy alternative, you know? I mean, Would flavors you... are good, cigarettes taste, you know, after, I, two days after I started vaping, I tried one of my wife's cigarettes, because she, she uh, still does it. And um, it was the nastiest taste I ever had. I've never ever tried it since then. So you haven't had my mom's cooking yet. <laughs> no, <Nope>, I haven't. <laughs> Hi, mom. Who to talk to? Who to talk to? Everyone's so nice out here in Phoenix. I just wish that we had someone to talk to. What else do they have at Vapor Dynasty Expo? These guys. This is the vaping squad. You're looking to rebuilding, and you want to do it safely, and you want to learn the right way to do it. These two guys are the guys to do it. Got Daniel over here. Got Brand over here. Guys, tell me about what the Vaping Squad is and how you do it. All right, Vaping Squad, we started about two years ago. We we ourselves started building. Mm -hmm. When we didn't know where to start off, how to start off. All we knew, we wanted to chase clouds just like everybody else. So we went and did our own thing. Kind of started rebuilding on trial and error. From the trial and error, we started figuring out uh, calculations on how to do our uh, rebuilds, our coils, how to get the clouds your airflow ratio but then we decided to it's like why not teach it to anybody else, to everybody else because we started right. seeing more of the rebuildable start coming here in arizona and a lot of people were doing it the wrong way like they would ask questions and they're oh i'm doing this it's like oh, wait wait hold on you, know, you can't right. do it like that you know you have to do it like this well when you say you said calculations because we've talked about this before what do you mean calculations you're basically your ohms law your voltage drops your resistance your amps and your wattage that you're pulling from a mod with your bit so we see a lot of kids out there who are doing this and they think it's just about how many times they wrap their coil exactly and they're not taking into consideration stuff like the batteries and the safety that comes along with that right exactly like for example a lot of people say well i'm doing everything the same way the youtube video Show mm -hmm. I'm doing the five wraps with the 26 gauge around a 30, 330 seconds diameter belt, but I'm not getting the vapor clouds. Why? Well, you figure out, well, is your air the, the right size, your air hole? Are you using the right battery? Uh, if you're using a 10 amp battery, you cannot go anywhere below a 0.5 with a 10 amp battery. So if you're using a 0 0.1, 0 0.2 build for clouds and you have a 10 amp battery, there's no way you're going to get that because you're pushing your battery to the limit and you're not using that battery for the precise build that you want. So you need to pull the correct amount of amps of wattage for that resistance. Our home is Ninth World. We, that's where we are. We're there every Saturday. We do our build classes. Everybody's welcome to come in. There's no payment or anything if you have your coils. Um, if you have your wire, that's great. If you don't, we have them for you and we'll, start, we'll teach you how to build it. Um, we'll go to other places like Casa Ground. We went there. Um, mm -hmm. Paula asked us, um, she's like the, the president of uh, Cast Ground Vapors, nice. so she requested us uh, if we could do a class there. Um, not many people do rebuildables, but they wanted to learn about ba battery safety. Mm -hmm. You know, so I mean like they have simple things, simple RDAs such as the Nimbus or the Igo Ws, and we were teaching them how to safely build um, with their, you know, 30 amp batteries, 10 amp batteries, whether what it is, we have sheets on there. If you guys go to the website or the Facebook page, um, The Vaping Squad, there's lots of dynamics and pictures and um, tables that will actually tell you about, you know, the batteries, what their ampage and what their max amp is, as well as the lowest coil build that you can get. Here at the Vapor Dynasty Expo, besides all the great music, are you, are you liking this stuff? Whatever that is, I'm a death metal fan, so all right. I'm here with Darren. Darren does OCD mods. Darren, what city uh, is that out of, or I'm, originally I'm, out of? I'm an outskirts of Phoenix, so I'm in Surprise, Arizona right okay. now. So, yeah. Now, Darren had, Darren, you're still working though. I heard you had a fire. I had a big fire. I just moved here from Florida. My wife's company moved us to Florida back in March. Moved us back to Arizona, and we just moved into the house in Surprise and uh, got the shop all set up and it, <laughs> and it burned to the ground on Monday. I think I have an idea how it got started. Yeah, over here, so. <laughs> okay, so you are still working on mods and doing vaping stuff. What kind of stuff do you do? I, uh, I do custom mods, basically Cerakote, and uh, basically your imagination, I'll make it come to life. Naked chicks? Uh, no, that's his job over here. 
I do not want to see that man naked. I'm just saying. Um, where can they get a hold of you? Um, well, um, basically on Facebook right now, OCD Mods, OCD Mods at Facebook. You know, I mean, if you look me up there, I got all my photo. <laughs> I got everything going on Facebook. I mean, Facebook's been really good to me, so it's like everybody's on Facebook. <laughs> but basically, OCD Mods on Facebook, and then find me there. I think we almost lit Darren on fire. Yeah. yeah okay. OCD Mods on Facebook. Yeah, exactly. Okay. OCD letters, OCD, OCD mods. Mods on Facebook. Okay. Well, we're gonna try. We're gonna try and get you some business and get a new store. Yeah, I'm actually uh, moving into this guy's garage. He's like he volunteered his garage for me to set up in, and uh, you know the vape community has really come together and helped me out. I didn't have renter's insurance. It was on my to-do list number four. It was one of those uh, I'll do tomorrow. <laughs> I'll do tomorrow things that I'm gonna regret forever. You know. So, but. Uh, like like what exactly? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I was supposed to do it, didn't get it done. Um, okay. <laughs> I love these guys. Thanks for watching the Vape Channel. Keep it real, keep it fresh, keep it real fresh. Gum, 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 gum,